There you go. This is going to be a quickie, but uh, that's probably more of a complaining thing than anything else. Well, I guess. I don't know. But anyway, you know, I figured to put this on some steak, but it's a little different than what you think. The reason being that uh, it seems like lately in order, you know, steaks from like local places, it's just bad cuts of meat. It's real expensive and it don't taste good. It's just plain junk. So we started where we'd go, we'd buy a roast at the daggone grocery store when they went on sale. We take them jokers and we marinate them for like, you know, a couple hours. Take them, throw them on the grill, on some charcoal. I ain't talking about the gas stuff, y'all. That's not putting flavor in it. Take it, put it on the charcoal grill, cook that bad boy up. Y'all, that's the best daggone steak you ever put in your mouth. I'm telling you, you can't beat it. But that's our complaint. We stopped buying steaks from restaurants now because they're just so, so bad. And it, it's not worth it. It's just, it's... It's not worth it. But uh, anyway, we'll get these tastes on the grill here in a second. By the way, my old homemade used up beat up grill. God, I don't know how old that thing is, probably 20, 20 something years old, I guess. I don't know. Been around a long time though. I gotta buy a new grating off for the inside. And it's just an old beat up grill I got from somebody. He was getting rid of it and I said, yeah. So, I mean, I don't know how, old, how long he had it. He probably had it 10, 15 years. But, uh, they made it out of some old, uh, cut up barrels and stuff. Um, and I've used it. it I mean, it's done a good job, but as much flavor as it's got built in, because this is, this is iron here. Just solid cast. I mean, that's just cast iron there, y'all. But, uh, it's got that flavoring all built in it. I just, I hate getting rid of that thing, to be honest with you. I don't, uh, I don't think you can buy one flavor built in it like that. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to hang on to that bad boy. I, like I said, I got to get some more, another grate for the inside of it. But uh, other than that, I'm just going to keep on using it. Like I was saying before, as far as the, uh, as far as buying steaks at those, well, I'll say the, the chain, uh, restaurants. Quality's gotten terrible. The prices are extravagant. And the flavor is just horrible. Um, the other, well, it's been maybe, I want to say a week, two weeks ago, we'd got a steak. Both of us have gotten steaks from uh, one of those chain uh, restaurants and uh, paid a lot of money for them. But uh, we made the comment they were comparable to going to like uh, a Waffle House and getting uh, cheap breakfast steaks. You know, that you get with your grits and your eggs and stuff if you go to a Waffle House. It was comparable to that and we paid a fortune for those daggone things. It's, uh, it's not worth it. 
especially when we can, you know, go out and buy meat a whole lot cheaper at the grocery store for a whole lot more meat, better cut of, cut of meat, and uh, flavored ourselves and throw it on the grill. I'm, I'm telling you, it's when you save money, it tastes better, and you ain't got to go out and worry about going out to eat and all that mess. And there's really no point. So for that, we just paid a third of what we would go into one of those chain places. Flavor's better, boatload more meat, so you can't beat it. Anyway, I know, oh yeah, I was going to show y'all too, by the way. There's the first one coming from... Uh, See the one, the ice browns are, uh, or the Rhode Island reds. Or Rhode, yeah. Right. Anyway, we got one in land again, but as you can see, old, we got the uh, East Rigger steady land now, so that worked out. But anyway, this is short, sweet to the point, but it's just, I'm so sick and tired of paying over inflated prices for stuff that's just mediocre. Or even poor. And any more of those daggone chain places are just, the, it's just awful. You're just throwing good money to bad food, too. I think we're kind of, we're done with that. It's just, that's gotten old. Well, She's churning them out, buddy. That doggone chicken is really turning them out now. There we go. We got another one. It's like I said before, that would be days. Hey, girls. I hear you. Like I said before, though, with the eggs. If you don't check them late boxes during the day, you go in with a snake in them daggone late boxes. That ain't no fun to reach your hand down there and find out there's a snake in there. Trust me. <laughs> Gertrude, what you waiting on, girl? Huh? 
What you waiting on? I ain't got nothing for you. I ain't got no snacks right now. I'll get you some later on though. How about that? How about that, girl? But anyway, uh, as always, God bless each and every one of you. I hope y'all have a good day. If you would, please like and subscribe to help us out. And uh, hope I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.